three days out from your decision today. Uh, is it any way as stressful as it was 13 years old starting for Parkview on the offensive line at center? Uh, definitely way, way less stressful, like coming in, like I know what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it, and I just got to execute. I think people will be struck when they see your 6'3 plus, 315 pounds, and you're still 17 years old. I mean, 16 years old, right? Yeah. yeah. 16 years old. You'll be 17 this fall. Like, do you feel like you, you have a lot of potential and room to grow because you're still relatively very young for your age? Yeah, I feel like I definitely got a lot of room to grow, but I don't think people should think, like, I'm just not going to be good enough if I'm just young, but I'm definitely going to work for it. Let me see. You're a four-year starter. You started at 13 in Class 7A. You have all the offers you probably could ever want. You're a state champion in one track sport. You're a runner-up in the other. Which one of those accomplishments do you feel, are, I guess, you're, are you the proudest of? Uh, really, well, I'll say... One of my proudest moments was like going in as pressure, like, and I know the snaps were bad, not the greatest, but I did pretty decent to say I, I just started snapping like a week ago. And of course, like, I think the best this year was like probably the runner up because I came in second to lowest, surprised everybody, big throw, got second, we lost on the last throw. I mean, well, you came I was, from next yeah. to last, and then you yeah. got second out of it? Yeah. Oh, wow. That was like the biggest jump out of the whole decade or something like that. Describe the way you, you try to play football. When people watch you play, what, how is that? I try to play explosive. Like, everything I do, I try to make, like, explosive twitch. Like, if it's twitch, like, powerful, everything just needs to be explosive. Like, nothing slow, if that makes sense. What will your decision on Sunday come down to? Uh, it comes down to how they treat me and how they're going to make me a better person in the community they're going to have behind me. Let's walk through your finalists. Uh, let's start, uh, I guess, let's start with Georgia Tech. Uh, what, how do you, why, is, why do you feel strongly about Georgia Tech to make them in your final group? I mean, Georgia Tech is a great program. They got the city, of course, and the actual tech part with a lot of upsides on the after football. And, of course, Coach Wade, Coach Jeep, like, they're building a great program there with their line. And I see a lot of good stuff about them in the future. How about Georgia? How do you feel about well, the other home state school? I mean, just homegrown. Great, good, great school. A little uh, old school with the tradition and everything, but it's a big community. And they got, of course, a good uh, academic program with a lot of support. Miami, the Hurricanes. I'm sure Coral Gables was beautiful when you went yeah. down and saw it. I mean, beautiful scenery. I mean, coaches, Coach Chris Ball, Coach, uh, Coach Mirabal. Like, they're great coaches. They're going to make sure everybody's, like, coached the same. They're making sure details in them coach, coaching room and, like, I mean, Miami, of course, is a private school, smart, so it's a beach. It's great. How about South Carolina? Why are they in your mix here? Coach Cheesy, Coach Beamer, like, they're building something actually awesome there. Like, really, they're building it from the ground up. They came in, did some things, got it going, got it rocking. What did the decision for you ultimately come down to? Well, to me, it came down to, like, how they can make me the, a, the best person and ball player possible. Like. And, like, how I'll feel being there, of course, like, the enjoyment of being in the college. 